everybody nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's monica nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for vigilante boku no hero academia illegals chapter 93 and last chapter um we got into the psychology of um a hero and a villain and i really loved how farahashi defined it where um a hero uh, basically with a quirk is someone that is stable that um, has control of their quirk, whereas a villain, they are not stable at all. Not, nah. and it's to the point where the quirk controls them. And I really, really like that. And it's kind of like also a nature versus nurture argument um, to be made uh, as well. But anyway, All Might has arrived. Shit is getting even more real up in here. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And this chapter is titled Three Seconds. Oh my god. Ben Court, this is beautiful. I love this cover page. We've got villains pouring out of th that parking structure. They're invading the nearby shopping district and residential areas. Now, um, now I got no idea what's going on here, but you ain't, you villains ain't, get, uh, ain't getting past me. Dude, they're getting past you. Get, uh, this, uh, ugh. Get dispatch requests to local heroes. All Might's gonna have his hands full with this. There's going uh, going to be widespread um, spread panic throughout Osaka. Uh oh, this ain't good. Might eyes, might in sight. Mm, I've got the gist. <laughs> yeah, there's All Might. Oh, he even did a judo chop. Woohoo! Did he? And he, of course, saved the kids. But he, he saved a ducky family. Like, that was just cute. And on that note, I am here! Hooray, all might! Woohoo! Good to see you again, Detective Tanama. I believe I've wrangled every villain in sight, so I suppose this little crisis is over? Erm, um, no. You don't say. Uh, all might once again lives up to expectations, neutralizing several dozen villains at the blink of an eye. Why, this stump barely bought us any time at all. Wrong. It bought us three seconds. Uh-oh. Three seconds is apparently enough for this. Woo, Vancourt, this art, man. Transformed um, from martial artist into monster. This hooded man somehow reworked his body, his very structure into a powerhouse capable of mass destruction. <gasps> Woo, Vancourt, this musculature is looking great, but... I'm sorry, what, what I've been seeing from especially even East Yama in Attack on Titan yesterday. <gasps> Ooh, dude, you gotta step it up. Man, this is looking good, but I need, I need more. I need more from the musculature. This is looking good, though. And also the background, like, really just, just like, giving that extra oomph. And, uh, like, the, um, it really helps with the, um, the flow, the, uh, Warning, holy shit. The fluidity of this movement. Oh my god. But when he pumps himself up, up all jumbo sized, his moves become pretty uninspired. Makes, making it easier to deal with. Run! Now while Rapper challenges this guy to a head on fist fight, my job is to back him up until, uh, back him up with a bag of subtle tricks. Like shooting out the enemy's eyes with, uh, with a pistol, or slicing tendons with my knife. Or tackling, uh, tackling him uh, to knock him off balance. Nah, when I'm out of steam, I let Rapper cover me. <laughs> so I can take a breather and... Uh-oh. No! Rapper! No! He grabbed part of the cage from the ring? He's using his head! Holy shit, he is! Striking from above, um... With a makeshift fly swatter, no way to dodge! Dude! Did someone order a good kicking? Yes! You again? Why'd you come back, Bunny? Cause I finished your little favor. Uh, out there, um, favor. Um, out there in here, it's totally nuts. And I wasn't gonna be the only gal on the sidelines. So I'm back to give this nasty cover, um, nasty customer a taste of my foot. Bunny, more like a mad dog. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Dude, he mad! He got swole! Dude! This is bomb! 
I love, oh man, I gotta say, Betancourt, I love what you're doing here. I love the blood popping out. This is great stuff. The veins, everything. This is great. Still needs more, but anyway. You three killing you would make me strongest. Sneak attacks won't cut it now. You better retreat, bunny. Yeah, scram. The hell with that! <laughs> Tell you not, they're not being sexist. I know it seems like it, but they ain't being sexist. Think what you want, but I'm a hero in training, see? I'm not gonna turn tail when there's a villain begging for a beating. Hey, bub, what do you what do we do about the crazy chick? Oh boy, another wild child to babysit. <laughs> but she did her job well. I am uh uh the few seconds she bought us gave him time to show up. Our time is up. I will retrieve the subject. Oh, away um see that bub uh the, the big monster went poof <laughs> that was so anticlimactic what the fuck that's not fair there's her all might like all might's like what the fuck dude that was that was some sneaky shit though but there's still more to this story oh yes there is I know we totally got debated for a second there. We did. We got debated. We got damn debated. You fuckers. <laughs> I hate that we got debated this week. It's not fair. But I will say this. Prohashi, I swear to God, you need to be getting on Horikoshi's ass. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, because I should have mentioned this at the beginning, Prohashi follows me on Twitter. Yes, Prohashi Sensei follows me on Twitter. So I'm going to get some things done. I will be making a difference. I'm going to get, I'm going to make it my mission to get some of the shit that's in Vigilantes that Furuhashi has given us and get it into Boku no Hero Academia. I will make it my mission to do so. I'm going to do it. I will get things done. I will use my tweeting powers for good and also my, my, uh, just my love of manga powers for good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to use my powers for good here. And trust me, I will. I, that is my goal. One of the many goals I have this year is to get some, is to get Horikoshi, um, to get some of the stuff that Furuhashi has given us here in Vigilantes, to get that shit up in Boku no Hero Academia. Shit, I, I, like, seriously, Furuhashi, I gotta say, since we're done with the current arc um, for Boku no Hero Academia, ooh, now is your time to step in. You need to step in and tell Horikoshi Sensei, look, bruh, I got some great ideas here from Vigilantes. We need, especially since you used some of them already, you referenced them, so technically you're making Vigilantes canon anyway. Let's let's use some of them for an arc, especially since you put villain factories up in that bitch. Yes, you did. You cannot deny that there was villain factories up in Boku no Hero Academia, <laughs> the previous arc. Oh, yes, there was. And the Nobu kind of, uh, to me anyway, based on what we saw in... Um, and uh, everything that Furuhashi has given us in Vigilantes and um, what we got info-wise in Boku no Hero Academia, next level villains. That's what uh, that's what the Nomu are. They are like the um, the result of all the experimentation on the um, on the on the next level villains and all on the um, uh, from the trigger experiments and all that shit. So I really, 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 really want some of that. Give it to me. Give it to me for a hashi. Just go over to Horikoshi and get that shit. Get that shit done. We need some of that up in here. I would love, something I would love to see, but I don't know if we'll get it or not. Um, because we don't know, maybe we'll have to wait and see, um, how shit is at the end, when this manga ends. Maybe when this manga ends, we'll get, um, we'll get some, uh, Koichi awesomeness up in here. Uh, or up in there. I think that's when, that's when I will say get, put Koichi up in that bitch. <laughs> put, but I swear, by the end of, by the time Vigilante Boku no Hero Academia Legals ends, I need Koichi up in Boku no Hero Academia. If he still has a, this is if he still has his quirks and everything. Because Koichi needs to be a part of the action. He does. Swear to God. Uh, but this whole thing, but anyway, now that I got that tangent out of the way, um, I really do love the direction we're going here. I really do. I love this. I love 
the boss villain. If this ends up, if this, th no way this is going to be um, all for one. No way. It is not going to be all for one. But if this guy ends up like being an associate of all for one, that would make a lot of sense considering everything else that has happened. Uh, considering everything else that we've seen in especially Boku no Hero, the main Boku no Hero Academia manga, that would make a lot of sense. Because of, remember what, now that what we've seen in my in uh, Boku no Hero Academia, we know what um, uh, All for One was trying to achieve. Um, not just with the Nomu, but, um, but for Shigaraki as well. And I'm spoiling Boku no Hero Academia right now, so you better be caught up with the main manga, like you should. Um, and turning Shigaraki into his new vessel. So I'm wondering if this is, if uh, this villain here, uh, our boss villain here, is an associate of um, of All for One. I really think that would be that has to be the case. He's got to be an associate for All for One, right? It just would make the most sense. It would, considering what we've gotten recent, what we've gotten, again, I'm including in Vigilantes as well, and also the tie-in to what we've gotten um, in Vigilant from in Boku no Hero Academia from Vigilantes. I mean, it just would make the most sense, right? He got to be an associate. I'm very curious what you guys think in terms of that, and what do you guys think of? Um, of the possibility of um, of the next arc in particular, maybe exploring this more. Of, and I'm talking about in Boku no Hero Academia. I really think that Horikoshi needs to do this because this is really interesting. And I'm hoping in regards to in in regards to Vigilantes, I really can't wait to see what we're gonna get in regards to the rest of this back uh, of this uh, flashback arc. I'm hoping we're gonna get to see who the um get more of the who the actual um villain is like if he is a associate of all for one because if that is the case and he survives uh, the, uh by the end of vigilantes oh man he is going to be showing up in Boku no Hero academia oh damn straight he will um the other thing i of course i gotta mention is um oh my god is I really do hope that this flashback arc goes all the way to where we see how Knuckle Duster lost his, um, or I should say, what is shit, to how we see how um, O'Clock lost his power or lost his quirk. And I think I kind of have an understanding of how um, he became Knuckle Duster. He was, he's got to have been, and how he got his, um, <laughs> he got his, uh, his creed. It's all, it's all from rapper. We all know that this by now by now we can totally know this but something happened to rapper here and it's gonna be very interesting to see what happened if rapper was killed if he became um a nomu um because we've seen like uh we saw some of the next level nomu in um in boku no hero academia where they be where we've seen actual you know um uh, humans become nomu so that would be really interesting to see what direction uh, Furuhashi going to go in with this. I really, and I really, really, really am hoping that um, one of the Nomus that we saw, that were t um, one of the next level Nomu is Rapper. I really hope so, because that would be fucking cool. But we'll have to wait and see what direction Furuhashi going to go in on this. I oh God, I'm so looking forward to this shit. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Can Sync. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Boku no Hero Academia content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.